love. You are my strength. Thank you, God. Strength like no other. Strength like no other. Reach us to me. Hello, son-in-law. How are you? You are my strength. Oh, Jesus. Strength like no other. Strength like no other. Reach us to me. In the fullness of your grace. In the power of your name. You lift me up. Glory. You lift me up. You are my strength. Thank you, Jesus. I'm doing well. Strength like no other. Just rejoicing in the Lord and the goodness of the Lord, of his grace and his mercy. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Just rejoicing in him, just excited about the Lord and what he's getting ready to do in the lives of his people. Amen. Amen. Come on in. Come on in. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Let's see what the Lord has to say today. What he's saying to his people on today. Glory be to God. Amen. Well, this is the day. This is the day that the Lord has made and we will rejoice and be glad in it. <laughs> Amen. This is the day that the Lord has made. Amen. Praise God. No goodness of our own, but his grace and mercy that we're even still here. Um, understanding that it could have been the other way. But I thank God be the glory. Amen. I thank God for Jesus. I thank God for just him being alive and well in our lives on today. Allowing us to see another day we've never seen before. Glory be to God. He is a keeper. Ah, oh, my God, my God. For those that want to be kept. Oh, my God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Come on in and share, share, share. Share with your family. Share with your friends. Share with your loved ones. Share with your enemies, your frenemies, and all those folks. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Let us see what the Lord is saying on today. Amen. Hallelujah. He, he loves his people. Amen. He's concerned about the souls of his people. Praise God. Hallelujah. We're going to go into the word of God in a few minutes. I'm waiting for just a few more to come on in. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. If you see me one from one place to the other because I got all these three screens up. <laughs> Oh, Lord, have mercy. We just bless the Lord on today. God is yet good. He's a merciful God. He's an on-time God. He may not come when we want him, but guess what? He's always on time. Praise God. Hallelujah. I come to you greeting in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Uh, the love of my soul, the keeper of my soul. Hallelujah. He is my strength. Strength like no other. That I mean, he, he's my strength. That's what keeps me going. Strength like no other. He's my peace, my peace like no other. And I just give God glory. Hallelujah. And it reaches to me in the fullness of his grace. Amen. In the power of his name. I lift up the name of Jesus because he's worthy on today. He's worthy of all the praise. We're going into the word of God. We're going to the book of Revelation. Amen. We're going to go to the book of Galatians. Praise the Lord. Amen. Let us continue to amen just just know who god is better and not only that know who you are in god praise god don't let nobody fool you amen you better know who you are in god in these last and evil days because the enemy will try you he will test you to see what you made out of father we thank you right now for this day we thank you for your grace and mercy we thank you for allowing us to uh come again before you oh god we thank you for how you watched over us last night while we slumbered and slept in the image of death and didn't allow the death agent to overtake us. And God, we just want to say thank you. 
Lord, we ask you to shine the spotlight way down in the weak corners of our soul. And if you find anything that's not like you, oh God, strip us of it right now. Anything that's in common with the enemy. Lord, we ask you to move it right now, God. Put bonds behind the cross. Let me decrease that you may increase. Oh God, speak to our hearts on today. Open up our ears that we can hear and our hearts to receive and our minds to comprehend. Lord, I pray for the bereaved families on today. Somebody has lost a loved one and someone is in the preparation now of putting their loved one to rest. But God, I ask you to comfort their hearts right now. In the name of Jesus, God, I ask you to look on the sick, oh God, to shed the heavy burden. You are a burden barrier. You are a heavy load carrier. Oh God, you are mind regulator. You are heart fixer. My God, I thank you, Jesus. Oh God, you all that you will, we'll allow you to be, and we give you praise for it on today. In the name of Jesus, oh God, we bind the hands of the enemy in the agenda that he has to plead the blood of Jesus against it, understanding that the blood still works. And God, I just tell you, thank you, God. I rejoice in knowing that you are my strength, strength like no other, and I give you praise for it. Oh God, I commend the service into your hands. Do what you want to do. As long as you want to have your way, God. And we give you praise and we give you glory in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise God. I ask you to share, 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 share. Amen. Hello, uh, Prophet. Amen. How you doing, Prophet Smith? Amen. Glory to God. I ask you to share with your family, share with your friends, share with your loved one. Hey, Miss Lois. Amen. Praise God. God is yet good. Amen. He's a merciful God. In the book of Galatians, chapter 5, amen, beginning with the seventh verse, it says, You were running well. And I'm reading from my... Uh, um, spiritual warfare by you were running well who hindered you from obeying the truth this persuasion does not come from him who calls you a little yeast leavens the whole batch glory to god i have confidence in you through the lord that you would not think otherwise but he who is troubling you shall bear his judgment whoever he is glory be to god hallelujah you did run well and if you see that my, my caption says what happened Come back, come back. Praise God. What happened? Glory be to God. Let's go to Revelation chapter 2. Amen. Amen. Praise God. He's, he's talking to the angel of the church of Ephesus. Praise God. He said, He who holds the seven stars in his right hand, who walks in the midst of the seven golden candlesticks, says these things. I know your works. I know your works. I really know your works. Your labor and your patience, and that you cannot bear those who are evil. And you have tested those who say they are apostles but are not, and have found them to be liars. You have endured and have been patient, and for my name's sake have labored and have not grown weary. You're still yet holding on. You're still trusting in me. You're still depending on me. You have not given up. Glory be to God. But I have something against you, that you have abandoned the love you had at first. Remember, therefore, from where you have fallen, repent, and do your do do. At, excuse me, repent and do the works you did at first, or else I will come quickly, come to you quickly, remove your candlestick from its place. Glory to God, unless you repent. But this you have, you hate, but you hate, you hate the works, God help me, Lord. But this you have, you hate the works of the Galatians, which I also hate. He who has an ear, let him hear what the Spirit says to the church. To him who overcome, I will give permission to eat of the tree of life, which is in the midst of the paradise of God. Can somebody say amen, amen, and amen again? Praise the Lord. Amen. Praise God. You did run well, but who hindered you? Who stood in your way? Who, hallelujah, who was whispering in your ear? <laughs> Praise the Lord. We bless the Lord on today, amen, because God is yet good. God is yet a merciful God. God is yet an on time God. Praise God. You did run well, but who hindered you? Praise God. What happened? What happened? Let's search your life. Search your heart. Search your mind. Glory be to God. Remember when you first got saved. Amen. Praise God. And you was wide open. You was excited. You had the zeal. You was giving God a yet praise. Praise God, and you wouldn't allow anything to get in your way to try to hinder you. You were searching God. You was reaching out to God. You was reaching out to him for whatever you needed. Amen. But something happened along the way. What happened? Come back to him. Amen. Come back. Get your joy back. Praise God. Circumstances come. Absolutely. Situations come. Absolutely. That's a part of life. 
You're going to go through some things. You're going to go through some tests, just a test of your faith. But who do you trust in? Do you trust in God or do you trust in man? Glory be to God. You did run well, but who hindered you? What's going on? What is the problem? What seems to be the problem? You don't have that joy. You don't have that prayer life. Amen. You quote the scriptures, but you can't live the scriptures. Praise God. It's not enough to know the word and not do what the word says. Amen. Praise God. If you know the word and don't do the word, you're held accountable. Praise God. But you did run well. Hallelujah. What happened? It's time to come back. Get your joy back. Get your praise back. Get your dance back. Amen. Praise God. And he began to talk about, he was talking to the Galatians. They began to listen to where it says a little leaven is a whole lump. Amen. Amen. They began to listen to false teaching. False teaching. Amen. And it, it would destroy the whole church. Praise God. Hallelujah. But you got to know what the word is saying. Amen. Praise God. You can't fall for any and everything. Everything that look good to you ain't good for you. Praise God. You got to get the word. You got to know the word for yourself. You can't afford to allow. Amen. Something that it sounds good and is tickling your ears. Amen. To hinder you. Praise God, hallelujah, to fall back from your prayer life, fall back from your fasting life, fall back from studying your word, believe in God, you know the word, amen, trust God, no matter what the situation is, amen, there was a time you trusted God, you didn't let nothing come in your way, but now the least thing that you go through, you get weak along the way, God has not changed, he is the same God today, yesterday, and forevermore, praise God, if he brought you through then, let me tell you, he'll bring you through this. Ah, oh, hallelujah. Ty Tripp said, if he brought you through that, he'll bring you through this. Amen. Praise God. He'll do it again. Glory to God. Praise God. We got to trust God. You did run well. He told the, the church of Galatia, you did run well. You were doing very well. Hallelujah. But what happened along the way? What was it that you got caught up in, amen, that changed your mind? Who was it came into your life and persuaded you to go a different way? Who, who came in your life and told you, well, you don't have to do that. You don't have to live according to the word. You can do this and you can do that. ask God to forgive you and keep moving. No, 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 no. God has not changed. If it was wrong then, it's wrong now. Amen, praise God. He's not going to change because of who you are. He don't care nothing about your titles. He's concerned about your soul. Amen. It's time to get this thing together. What happened? Come back to God. Go on, glory be to God. Come back. Get your prayer life back. Get your, your salvation back. Go back and do your first works over. Glory be to God. Go back and say, God, I'm sorry. Acknowledge, amen, that God, I've come up short. I don't pray like I used to. Doubt has, I have allowed doubt to set in. I have allowed people to whisper into my ear. Amen, praise God. I preached a message one time again. Be careful who you allow to whisper in your ear. Amen. Everything is going to turn back calling ain't of God. Hallelujah. Everything is God. Don't you know for every real person God has, the devil's got a counterfeit. You better know what's of God. This is why we need a discernment. Amen. So we know what's of God and what's not of God. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. So it's time to get right. It's time to get to stay. Go back and do your first works over. But Paul began to talk to the Galatians. He said, listen, praise God. Disobedience. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. We begin, we're at the point now we don't even want to obey God. We don't want to obey leadership. We don't want to do nothing. Amen. We think we grow. We got our big pants on. We think we go. No, it's time to hear God. It's time to do what God has called you to do. It's time to stand on the word of God. Praise God, hallelujah. It's time to walk in the word of God. It's time to live the word of God. Not enough to quote it, because I want you to understand, you quoting the word of God, you held accountable, because you already know what the word says, and you don't want to live it. Oh, my God, from Zion. But it's time, amen. What happened? Amen. Check yourself out. You know you ain't got the praise. You know you ain't got the zeal. You know you have allowed doubt to sit in. Glory be to God, hallelujah. What happened? Come back to God. Get your, get, hey, do your first works over. Go back, amen. Praise God. Go back to the Holy Ghost service station. Get a refill. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Praise God. It's time to get it right because we're getting ready to get out of here. <coughs> he began to tell him, he said, listen, you did run well. You were doing a good job. Hallelujah. You were running well. Who hindered you from obeying the truth? Who hindered you from obeying God? <clears throat> doing what God has called. Who has hindered you? Who stood in your way? What job has hindered you? What man has hindered you? What woman has hindered you? What circumstances has hindered you? Praise God. Praise God. God worked things out in the past. He'll, he'll do it again. Amen. But we got to trust God. 
For the last three weeks, I've been preaching on faith. Amen. That no other way faith. We got to trust God. At the end of the day, it's not enough to say, I trust God. Praise God. And still walking around with doubt in your life. Glory be to God. You got to say, I believe God. Come hell or high waters. I don't care what you say. I don't care what nobody. I believe God is going to move. I believe God is going to work it out. I believe that God is going to deliver me. I believe God is going to work with the situation. I believe God is going to heal me. I believe God is going to deliver. I believe God is going to give me a breakthrough. I believe God is going to restore my joy. I believe he's going to restore my praise. I believe he's going to heal my body. You got to trust God. Glory be to God. But you did run well. There was a time nobody couldn't make you doubt God. Nobody couldn't make you shut your mouth. Nobody couldn't make you be quiet. What hindered you? The Bible said in the last day there will be a great falling away. People of God, you got to understand, we're living in a time people are falling away from God. They're falling away from the church. They got all kinds of excuses for not going to church. They got all kinds of excuses for not serving God. They got all kinds of excuses, amen, amen, hallelujah, for not living right. Praise God, they want to blame it on somebody else. Where well, the pastor ain't doing it, that's not your problem. That's between them and God. Let God deal with them. Praise God. God is not coming. When he come back here for you, when he call you, amen, he's not going to call you for your leader. He's going to call you for you. He said he's coming back for the works that you've done. Hallelujah. <clears throat> you ain't can't stand before God and say, Lord, I would have done better, but my pastor did. Uh, he said, uh, you, you got to work out your own soul salvation. The Bible said, work out your own soul salvation with fear and trembling. Who do you believe? Who do you trust? Praise God. Hallelujah. We're not walking about what we see. We're not walking about what we feel. We walk about what we believe. And we believe the word of God. Praise God. If he kept me back then, God knows he can keep me now. If he delivered me back then, he can deliver me now. <clears throat> but we got to trust God. We got to stand on the word of God. We got to know that he's going to bring us through it. You did run well. What hindered you? Who have you allowed to whisper in your ear? Who have you allowed to bring doubt in your mind about what God can do? Hallelujah. When there's no hope for me, there is hope for the hopeless. Woo. We got to depend on uh, the hope of glory, which is Jesus Christ. There's no hope. I ain't going to never get there. Yes, you, you got to trust God. You got to believe God is a miracle worker. God is a deliverer. God is a healer. Hey, glory to God. He's a way maker. When it seems like no way can be made, God can come in and step in and make that way. But you got to trust God. Hallelujah. You did run well. What happened to your faith? What happened to your trust in God? What happened to your praise? You go to church now with your arms folded. Amen. And the spirit of the Lord is hallelujah. Glory to God. The spirit of the Lord is all over the place. And you sitting there like a knot on a log. What happened? What happened? Come on back. Come back to God. Glory be to God. Praise God. There was a time you was excited to go to church. Praise God. Hallelujah. But now you just go out of tradition. Praise God. But I heard David said, I was glad when they sent it to me. Let us go into the house of the Lord. You got to be excited. God, I come to hear from you. I need a word from the Lord. Praise God. Hallelujah. I come to lift up your name. Amen. I come to give you praise. I come to give you glory, God. Because you're just good like that. You did run well. But who hindered you? Praise God, what happened? Come back, come back. Amen, praise God. They used to sing in the back of the day. It's got to make a comeback. We got to make a comeback. Praise God, we got to get back in God where we need to be. Praise God, examine yourself. You know you're not where you need to be. You know you're coming up select. You know you've been dipping and dabbling in this and that and the other. Praise God, but you got to trust God. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Soon and very soon, we're going to see the king. Woo. Will you be able to hear him say, well done, thou good and faithful servant. You've been faithful over a few things. I'm going to make you ruler over many. Woo. Hallelujah. Come on, y'all. Come on, come on, come on. Amen. Praise God. Share, share, share. It's time to make a comeback. It's time to come back to the King of Kings. It's time to come back to the Lord of Lords. Hallelujah. It's time to come back to the great I am. Praise God. He is the healer. Amen. He is the deliverer. He is the way maker. He is the burden bearer. He is the heavy load carrier. Amen. Praise God. We got the great I am on the inside. You better know who you are in God. Hallelujah. You better know who you are. Oh, praise God. Praise God. We are children of the king. Oh, my God. Hallelujah. Amen. He said, just ask. Whatever you need, just ask. Praise God. Well, I'm asking, but, but, but it didn't happen. It's because you don't believe. <laughs> 
He said a wavering mind don't even expect anything to happen. Praise God, you're going to ask, but you ain't going to believe it. Sometimes you believe it, sometimes you don't. You know, there was a cursed commercial back in the day. Sometimes I feel like a nut, sometimes I don't. Hey, you got people out there in, in the body of Christ. Sometimes they believe God, sometimes they don't. No, they don't because the enemy will come in and bring doubt because they allow the enemy to do that. You got to know who you are in God. <clears throat> you got to know who you're serving. He said, you did run well, but who hindered you? What happened? Come back to God. Don't be like the church of Ephesus. There was a time you didn't get caught up in the things of the world. There was a time that you wouldn't act like the people in the world. There were times you wouldn't be cussing and carrying on like the people in the world. Call yourself saved, sanctified, Holy Ghost filled, and fire better. How are you going to be saved, sanctified, Holy Ghost filled? Fire baptized, hallelujah, glory be to God, praise God, hallelujah, and cuss out of one side of your mouth, amen, and praise him out of the other, amen, bitter and sweet can't come out of the same fountain. It's time to get right, glory to God, come back to God. He said, come in, what happened, come back. Hallelujah, amen, God, purge me, Jesus, amen, praise God, David, amen with his up. Praise God. I'm sure I've come up short. God, do it for me all over again. I need some help, Father. Glory be to God. You got to examine yourself. Stop pointing the fingers at everybody. It's not nobody else's fault. Check yourself out. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Let God do God. Oh my God from Zion. Let God do God. You did run. You were doing well. What happened? He told the church of Galatia. He told the Galatia, he said, listen. <clears throat> you were doing well. What happened? You were trusting God. You were believing him. You were standing on the word. But now all of a sudden, you got this mentality. I don't know whether he can. Yes, he can. Has he ever? You check your life out. Has God ever failed you yet? Has he ever let you down? <laughs> Has he ever not done what you asked him to do? And believe him. It's not enough to ask and don't believe. Amen. But either you're going to believe him or you're not going to believe him. We got to trust God. In these last of these, we're getting ready to get out of here. You better know who you are in God. What happened? Come back to him. Paul told the Galatians, he said, listen, you were doing well. You did run well. But who hindered you? Glory be to God. Hallelujah. In Revelation, he began to tell the church of Ephesus, he said, listen, 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 let me tell you something. He said, who, he who holds the seven stars, which is Jesus Christ. He said, I know your works. I might not know what you're doing. I might not see everything that you're doing. But God said, I know your works. He know you in the closet. He know, hallelujah. He know when you're trying to hide from everybody else. He know when you faking it until you make it. He know when you, amen, trying to make, make like you real, when you know you're phony. He, he, he knows your works. He knows the, the fulfillment. He knows the depthness of your heart. He said, I know your works. He told the church of Ephesus, he said, I know your works. <sighs> he told us, I know your works. I know when you come up slack. Praise God, hallelujah. I know when you try to impress people, but yet still you, you're failing me all at the same time. Either you trust me or you don't. He said, I know you. I know, who, I know how you act behind closed doors. Glory be to God. I know when you want to allow me to fight your battle, when you try to fight your own battle, I know what you're doing. He said, I know your words, your labor and your patience, how you work hard in the church, how you're faithful doing things in the church. He said, I know all of this. Glory be to God. He said, I know everything that you do. You sing in the choir. You're on the usher board. How you're on the praise thing. I know your faithfulness in all of this. He said, I know. I know exactly what you're doing. Praise God. Hallelujah. There's nothing you're doing that I can't see. He said, I see and know everything that you're doing. He said, but listen, and how you don't you you don't want to you there was a you don't want to get caught up in things of, of the world. You you don't want to be you, there was a time where you're evil. You didn't want to be caught up in all of that. You want to do what was it? He said, I know. There was a time you didn't want to get caught up in that. You didn't want to get caught up in the things of the world. You didn't want to act like the world. You didn't want to talk like the world. <coughs> but you 
love me. He said, I know all about that. He said, I know it. Man, I'll get it. I'll say it again. Man might not know, but I want you to know today that God knows. He sees and you know when you're real and when you're not real. I know when you're phony. I know when you're faking it. I know when you're trying to do things to impress people. Huh, instead of doing it to that, that I may get the glory. I know when you're doing it, amen, praise God, so that, that you may get the glory, that you may get a pat on the back instead of giving me the glory. He said, but I share my glory with no man. He said, I know all of this. I know the good side. I know the bad. I know what you're doing. Huh? You might fool some of the people some of the time, but you can't fool God none of the time. Might not see you all the time, but God sees you every day, every hour, every minute. He, he know your very thoughts. He know exactly what you're going to say before you get ready. He said, I know. I know. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. So you can't get back because he knows. You can't say, well, I didn't say that or I didn't act that way. He said, yes, here it is. Uh, hallelujah. May the 23rd. Amen. This is what you was thinking. This is the way you was acting. This is the way you were treating people. I know. He said, I know the good side of you. There's a good side of you, but the, you allow the enemy. Amen. To have a, a, a upstep on you. You allowing the enemy to use you. I don't care how saved you are, how sanctified you are. If you're not where you need to be in God, the devil will use you. Oh, my God. Hallelujah. I know how confused you are. I know all about that. There's nothing that you don't do that I don't know. Glory be to God. He said, I know this. He said, you have tested those who say that they're apostles and they are not. You're testing these people. You're checking them at their work. You're trying them. You're trying the spirit by the spirit. Amen. You, I, I know when you did that. I know that you don't get caught up in, in everything. I know when you do it when you don't. I know when you're going to stand on the word and when you're not going to stand. When you want to take the word to you for your own benefit. Oh, my God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He said, I know your lifestyle. I know everything there is to know about you. I know you want to do right. I know it's your heart's desire to do right. But who hindered you? Who stood in the way? What happened to your praise? What happened to your faith? What happened to your trust? Ah, oh, what happened to your integrity? When man don't see you, amen, hallelujah. Oh, you can't still stand on the word of God. You still can't walk holy. Oh, you got to break down with other people. Amen, praise God. We got to be real. In the last and evil days. Oh, God. I see you. When you're taking a drink, you don't think nobody will see you. How are you going to put unclean stuff out in a clean body? Come on, y'all. Pray God. How are you going to do it? What happened? Come back to me. Huh? He said, but you did run well. He said, together, he said, you did run well. But who hindered you? What is your problem? Who you allowed to get in your way? Stop it. What happened? Come back. I need you to come back. Glory be to God. I see commercials with the children. Good afternoon, Apostle. Amen. I see the children, the commercials and the TV program when the parents is leaving and they say, come back, mama. Come back. Come back. Come back. This is what the Lord is saying. Come back to me. I want to do things for you. I want to deliver. I want to work things out. I love you. There's nothing you can do to keep me from loving you. Come back to me. He began to tell, amen, he began to tell the church of Ephesus. He said, you have endured and have been patient for my name's sake, have labored and not grown weary. Hallelujah. So many is not giving up, but then there's so many that is giving up. There's so many that is throwing in the towel. They made up in their mind. I can't take it no more. It's too hard. You got to have a made up mind. You got to have your mind made up. God, I'm going all the way. I'm going to stand come hell or high water. If I've got to stand by myself, God, I'm going to stand. Don't fall for everything. Don't, I don't fall for false teaching. Amen. So everything is out there. I mean, all kind of doctrines are out there now. Stand on the true word of God. Oh, God, give me that and, and sharpen my discernment, God. Let me know what's real and what's not real, God. Open up my ears to what you have to say, God. Close my ears to what the enemy is saying. Come back to him. He said, well, what happened? Come back to him. It's time to be real. It's time to stand on the word of God. Stop playing church. It's time to be.
be real. I've said so many times, get off the playground, get real or be still. <laughs> get real with God. We get ready to get out of here. He coming back for a real people. He coming back for a holy people. He coming back for the saved, sanctified, Holy Ghost filled, real people that's standing on the word of God. That's made it their mind. I'm not gonna take down, do what you want to do, but I'm gonna stand on the word of God. I'm gonna live holy. I'm gonna walk holy. I'm gonna stand on the word of God. My God from Zion. Good God from Zion. What happened? Come back. Come back to you. There was a time that you stood on the word. There was a time, amen, that you wouldn't compromise with, with man, that you wouldn't compromise with family, that you wouldn't compromise with children. But now you're taking down your compromise just to be a friend. Hallelujah. You be that parent, stand on the word of God. Hallelujah. Pray. You live in my house, amen. You go into church. Glory be to God. We got to stand on the word of God. Stop being a, don't stop, hallelujah. Stop praying around. Woo! Stop paying patty cake with this and that patty cake with that, trying to make friends with them. Praise God, if you don't want to be my friend, so be it, but I'm standing on the word of God. People are going to walk away from you. People are going to turn their back on you. But one thing I know, my father said, I'd never leave you. Woo! Not for sake, when you stand on the word of God, when you preach the word of God, when you teach the word of God, praise God, you don't compromise the word of God, amen. Praise God, men is going to turn their back on you, but you stand anyhow. You stand on that word of God. You preach that word of God. Hallelujah. Preach that unadulterated gospel. Cry against sin. He said, cry loud. And then he said, what? Spare not. That let me know. I can't spare nobody. Praise God. I can't spare family. I can't spare mama. I can't spare children. I can't spare nieces. I can't spare nephews. I can't spare sisters. I can't spare. I can't spare nobody. He said, cry loud. My God from God. Cry loud and spare not. Hallelujah. It's time to be real, y'all. It's time to get because we're getting ready to get out of here. Are you going to either you're going to make it or you're not going to make it? Is he going to condemn you or is he going to commend you? Woo! Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Praise God. But well, I thank God for Jesus. Praise God. Praise God. When you got your mind made up that hallelujah, that I'm going all the way. Yes, people are going to fall off. Yes, they're going to turn their back on you. Yes, they're going to walk away. But my God from Zion, praise God, they won't fall you more. Everybody can go to the party, but everybody can't go to the after party. Glory be to God. Praise God, at the after party, that means you're going to stand through hell or high water. Praise God, they can't go through the after party. They can go to the party, but they can't go to the after party. Glory be to God. At the after party, you're going to go through tests. At the after party, you're going to go through some trial. You're going to go through some persecution. You're going to go through some rejection. You're going to go through some being lied up. But they can't make it at the after party. Praise God. But you that got your mind made up that I'm going to stand on the word of God, that I'm going to preach the word of God, I'm going to teach the word of God. Praise God. You can make it in the after party. Hallelujah. You did run well. But who hindered you? What happened? Hallelujah. What happened? Praise God. What caused you to give up on the word of God? What caused you to turn back on God? What caused you to get slack? Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. What happened? You did run well. But who hindered you? What is your problem? Get this thing together. Jesus is soon to come. Praise God. He's coming back for a real church. He's coming back for a holy church. Glory be to God. He's come back for somebody who's got their mind made up that I'm going to stand on the word of God. That I'm going to do what God has called me to do. Praise God. He ain't coming back for no weak Christian. Woo! My God from Zion. Praise God. Stand, people of God. Stand up and hold the hands. Hold up the blood-stained banner. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Have your mind made up that I'm going all the way with the Lord. I won't take down. I'm going to stand. Praise God. Hallelujah. You did run well. But who hindered you? Who did you allow to hinder you? What man did you allow to hinder you? What woman did you allow to hinder you? What job did you allow to hinder you? Who hindered you? What happened? Woo! Jesus Christ, the son of the living God, he's soon to come. And it won't be long, y'all. We'll be getting out of here. Praise God. Hallelujah. He began to tell the church of Ephesus, I know. Praise God. Hallelujah. You can run, dip, dodge. Up. He said, but God said, I know everything that you're doing. I know the good that you're doing and I know the bad that you're doing. 
Woo! I know how you sit in the house of God and you sit there, you running, you jumping, you skipping, you holler, and the next week you act like the I know all about that. Hallelujah. We need to be real. We need to stand. We need to hold up holy hands. Hallelujah. Praise God. We got to hold up the bloodstained banner. Woo! Glory be to God. God still loves us. He's concerned about us. This is why he told the church of Ephesus. He said, look, you need to come back. Come back. Hallelujah. He said, but I got something against you. You abandoned the love that you had at first. You don't love me like you say you do. Praise God. If you love me like you say you do, why do you treat me? Woo! Lord, have mercy. If you love me like you say you do, why do you treat me the way that you do? Oh, my God. Praise God. It's something that you love, you're not going to treat it in the kind of way. There was a time you was in love with Jesus. Praise God. The songwriter picked it up and said, falling in love with Jesus is the best thing I ever done. In his arms, I feel protected. In his arms, I'm never disconnected. Falling in love with Jesus is the best thing I ever done. You got to fall in love with him all over again because you got slack. You done fell in love with the world. You done fell in love with the things of the world. You can fell in love, hallelujah, hallelujah, with the actions of the world. It's time to stand for the word of God. Oh my God from Zion. Praise God. What have you allowed to hinder you? Glory be to God. God loves you. He said, one thing, I have one thing against you. I got something against you. Why did you leave your first love? Why did you fall in love with the things of the world? What is it more, what is more important out there in the world than me? Glory to God. What is out there that you've in the world that you fell in love with? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The world can't keep you. The world can destroy you. He said, but I can keep you. I can protect you. The world will leave you standing out by yourself. But he said, I won't leave you. No, I forsake you, but I'll be with you always, even until the end of the world. Hallelujah. The world will destroy you. Amen. He said, I'll protect you. <laughs> what is it in the world? Hallelujah. What in the world do you need? What in the world do you want? Amen. Praise God. What in the world is more important to you than your love for God? What in the world is more important to you than God? Huh? I used to sing this song, Lord, it's important to me that I'm saved. It's important to me that my soul is set free. It's important to me that I'm saved. He said, you did run well. He said, but you left me. You walked away from me. You walked away from me. You took down off my word. You started sugarcoating my word. You wouldn't tell the truth. You started compromising. You started trying to please man instead of pleasing me. What did you do? What, what in the world? Woo! What in the world it can, can do more for you than I can? He said, you, you left your first love. When, I, when you came to me, you were so in love with me. You ran well. You was excited. You were doing everything you could. You tried to win souls for the kingdom. But now you like the choo-choo train. I think I can. Ha, huh, my God. You were doing well. What happened? Come back to me. Come, I, I want you to come back. Pray, but, but, but Lord, I did this. He said, it's okay. He said, I want you to stand. Though your sins be as scarlet. Woo! Hallelujah. He said, though your sins be as scarlet, I can make a white as snow. Hallelujah. We got to trust God. We got to believe that God is going to bring us through. He said, though your sins be as scarlet, I'll make them white as snow. He said, come on, let's sit down and talk about it. He said, come on, what happened? Come back. Come back. Come back to me. Come back. I pray. I, I, I miss you. Come back to me. I, I want you. I, I, I want you in my kingdom. Come back to me. Huh? Ain't no man, ain't no woman, ain't no job worth dying going to hell over. Hallelujah! Glory be to God. We gotta love God more than we love a job. We gotta love God more than we love family. We gotta love God more than we love friends. Hallelujah! You so worried about friends walking away? Friends gonna walk away every day. Glory be to God. But hallelujah. Why don't you stick with somebody that's not going to never walk away from you? That's going to love you regardless of. Hallelujah. He began to tell the church of Ephesus. He said, listen. He said, you have left your first love. Remember, therefore, remember where you fell at. 
What happened? What caused you to fall? Remember where you fell at. Remember, go back and think about when I first got, when I started slacking up. What happened to you? What caused you to get slack? What happened? What caused you to fall? What happened to you get slack from the word of God? What happened to cause you, amen, for us to stop praying like you used to? What happened? What caused you to stop interceding? What caused you to stop loving your sister and brother? What happened? Remember, go back, roll, Lord, roll back the curtains of memories now and then. God, show me where you brought me from and where I could have been. God, do it for me, God. Help me, God. Show me where I come up so I can. Show me where I got weak at, Lord. Show me. He said, remember from where you've fallen. Ah, know where God brought you from. Remember from where you have fallen. This is what he told the church of Ephesus. He said, remember, therefore, where you have fallen. He said, and repent. And do your first works over. Go back and do it all over again. Repent for your shortcomings. Repent for your slack. Repeat, be, be like David. I, I repent, God. God, forgive me. I've sinned and come short of the God. I've sinned. I've sinned against you, God. Hallelujah. I got slack along. God, forgive me. David acknowledged when he came up slack. Why you can't acknowledge when you come up slack? Why you can't acknowledge? Lord, I know I'm not where I used to be. But they're still going on jumping. No, they ain't got no, they ain't got no. They about like, about like Samson. When he went out there to try to take the pillows and nothing happened. The thrill is gone. You're shaking and, yet, and there is no anointing. You're dancing and there's no anointing. Hallelujah. You're talking and there's no anointing. You're preaching and there's no power behind it. Because you, you've fallen away. You've taken down from the word of God. You're taken down from what God has given you. Huh? You got slack along the way in the word of God. Oh my God from Zion. What happened? Come back. He said, come. He said, repent and do your first work over. Ask God to forgive you. Oh my God. Hallelujah, amen. You know where you come up short at. You know what happened. People, there was a time when people just running for the Lord. They was hungry. Right now, we're living in a time they're not even hungry anymore. They're not even thirsty for righteousness. Oh, my God. They're thirsty for the things of the world. They're thirsty for the new houses. They're thirsty for the new cars. They're thirsty for more money. Oh, my God. But we need to be thirsty for the things of God. We need to be hungry for more of Christ in our life. Ah, oh, he said, he that thirst after right, they shall be filled. But we gotta, we gotta get that mentality. God, I'm hungry. I'm thirsty. I want more of you and less of me. Lord, help this old flesh to die daily from the things of this world. Help me not to be conformed to this world, but be transformed. Help me to be changed by the renewing of my mind. Glory be God. And he'll do it. Ask David. He'll do it. If you could ask David, David would tell you he'll do it. All you need to do is just to go back and repent. Acknowledge to him that you were wrong. There is a great fall in the wind in these last and evil days. People are leaving the house of God. They're walking out of the house of God. Hallelujah. They, they, they made it their mind, I can stay home and watch it on TV. I can stay home and watch it on social media. Uh, I, I can understand that if you're sick and you can't get out. But if you're able to get out, he said, don't forget the dwelling among. We're strength among those that are sanctified. We're strength one to another. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Praise God. People coming up all kind of excuses now for not going into the house of God. People coming up all kind of excuses now for not reading the Bible. Hallelujah. Well, when I try to read, I fall asleep. That's a trick of the enemy. That's what he does. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Praise God. I guarantee if you read in something of the world, you ain't going to sleep. Praise God. Hallelujah. If you read all this crazy mess, amen, you ain't going to sleep. But when it comes down to reading the Bible, reading the word of God, something that's going to give you power, something that's going to give you strength. Yes, enemy, enemy will attack your body and he will put you to sleep. But we got to stand on the word of God. Well, I don't pray because every time I try to pray, I, 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 no, 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 no. That's the trick of the enemy. You did run well, but who hindered you? Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Praise God. More prayer, more power. Little prayer, little power. 
Uh, the enemy know the more you pray, the more you seek the face of God, amen, the more power you're going to get over him. No, he don't want you to pray. No, he don't want you to read. No, he don't want you to seek the face of God. No, he don't want you to fast because he know you have more power against him. Ah, uh, But I read the word of God. He said, greater, greater is he that's in me than he that's in the world. You got to know who you are in God. You got to know what you have in God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Praise God. What happened? What happened? Ask yourself, Lord, what happened to me? What happened to me, God? I, I don't pray like I used to. I don't fast. God, what happened to me, Jesus? What in the world happened? God, why come I can't get in that place of you where I used to be? Lord, I've come up slack. God, help me, Jesus. Glory be to God. Help me. Praise God. Help me, Lord. I need your help, Lord. I can't make this journey by myself. So, God, I need your help, Lord. I need you to work this thing out for me, God. Help me, Lord Jesus. You did run well. But who hindered you? Who have you allowed to hinder you? Who have you allowed to get in your way? Who have you allowed, amen, to speak into your ears? Be very careful who you allow to whisper in your ear. You better know that it's of God. Hallelujah. You better know that it's a real man of God. You better know that it's a real woman of God. Because every real person God has, the devil's got a counterfeit. You better know the difference. Ah, oh, my God from Zion. Praise God. We better know, amen. We better be careful. Hear God. We got to stand on the word of God. We got to stand. Hey, we can't afford to take down. We got to live holy. We're getting ready to get out. He said, repent and do your first work. You do at, and the works you did at first. Do your first works over. That's what he said. Repent and do your first works over. Or else I will come to you quickly and remove your candlestick from his place. Ah, he'll take it away. He will remove the candlestick. Praise God. Holly, we got to, amen, we got to stand on the word of God. Ah, we got to trust God. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Praise God. It's time to be real. It is time to be real in these last and evil days because we're getting ready to get out of here. What happened? What happened? Amen. What happened? My God from Zion. Amen. He said that you're pay, you had patience. Ah, we live in a time now that the saints of God has no patience. They get aggravated. They get frustrated. They go through all these changes. Ah, they, they're ready to go off. They got a quick temper. Praise God. They can't take nothing. Hallelujah. Amen. Can't go through nothing. There was a time whatever you had to go through, you just went through and trusted God. What happened? Come back to God. Hallelujah. If he kept you back then, he'll still keep you now. What happened? Praise God. Come back. Repent and do your first works over. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise God. They were faithful. There was a time back in the day. Amen. Praise God. When we had church, we had all night prayer. I mean all night prayer. Praise God. Hallelujah. We had revival so powerful. Amen. That some people had to have somebody drive them home because they were drunk under the Holy Ghost. What happened? What happened to those things? They're not happening anymore. Amen. Every once in a while you hear of it. Praise God. But what happened, preacher? What happened, bishop? What happened, apostle? What happened, pastor? What happened, prophet? What happened? If it, what happened, man of God? What happened, woman of God? Come back. Come back. Hallelujah. We're not trying to win no popularity contest. Praise God. We're trying to stand on the word of God. We're trying to make it to the kingdom. We're trying to hear God say, well done. Praise God. He said that you should remember the good days of your early faith. Repent. Amen. Of the, the diminishing love and repeat and, and come back to your first love. Hallelujah. He said, well, he said he's going to remove the lampstick in Ephesus. That is, the assembly will cease to exist. His testimony is going to die out. Oh, it's time to get right, y'all. It's time to get yourself together. We're getting ready to get out of here. What happened? What happened to your testimony? People don't even want to testify no more. Praise God. And then when they get ready to testify, they want to testify about what the devil is doing. The devil did this. What happened? There was a time when you testified. You talked about the goodness of the Lord. 
about how good God is being. A good about how good God is, what he's doing in your life. Amen. Praise God. Don't you know when you're doing a lot of testifying about what the devil doing, you edifying him and he just laughing, he having a field day. What happened? Glory be God. What happened to you talking about the goodness of the Lord? Praise God. What happened to you living a holy, clean life? Ah, how, what happened to you walking upright, amen, among the sin of man, woman, boy, girl, that they can see the Christ in your life? What happened? They're looking for some real people now. They're looking for somebody, hallelujah, that's walking holy. They're looking for somebody that's living right. They look for somebody that tell them what it's going to take to make it to the kingdom. Woo. They're, they're looking for somebody to tell them how to get out of the mess that they're in. They're looking for somebody to tell them all about the living God. They're, this is what the world is looking for now. They're ready to come out of the life that they're living. They're looking for some real people. They're looking for some holy people. Where are you? What happened? Glory be to God. He said, go into the highways and the hedges and they compel them to come in. They're not going out anymore. They're not trying to reach us. We're trying to win souls for the kingdom. It's not about you. It's about the kingdom. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Praise God. He said, if you repent, I'm going to remove it. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take it from you. Praise God. Get yourself together. Get this life together. He said, I'm coming. I'm coming quick. After a while, you, let me tell you something. After a while, there's going to be a suddenly. <laughs> there's going to be a suddenly. He's going to come so quick. It's going to blow your mind. He said, he, he said he's going to come in a moment in the twinkling of an eye. You see how fast you can bat your eye? He can come just that quick. Praise God. You may lay down tonight and not wake up in the morning. But where will you spend eternity? If you lay down tonight and don't wake up in the morning, where are you going to spend eternity? Are you going to make it to the kingdom? Are you going to end up in the devil's hell? Hallelujah. What happened? Come back to him. Praise God. Many were brought up in the church. Praise God. And that's fine. The parents took them to church. They made them go to Sunday school. They made them sing in the choir. They made them be on the usher board. Ah, I remember years ago, hallelujah, amen, praise God, they had to be on uh, the young people thing, amen. Ah, but now, where are the young people in the church? Every, every now and then you find just a few, praise God, what happened? What happened, amen, praise God, come back, come back, let's get this thing together. Praise God, hallelujah, amen, it's time to get this thing together. He said, he that has an ear, let him hear what the Spirit is saying to the church. He is speaking to us. If we do what we need to do, get ourselves together. Come back to God. Get your life together. He said, you'll be able to eat off the tree of life. Ah, you'll be able to get that crown that's waiting for us. We'll be able to go in that world. He said, I go away to prepare a place for you that where I am, you can be also. In my Father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. Ah, glory to God. But hallelujah, you got to live right. You got to live according to the word. You got to stay on, on Route 66. Hallelujah. Do, amen. Follow the word of God. Hallelujah. This is your map right here. Amen. This is your map. This is your road map to glory. Hallelujah. There are instructions. When the Lord speaks, he gives you specific instructions. I was reading the other day, and he was giving me specific instructions how to build the holy place, how to build the most holy place. Every little detail, he gave it to him, and he'll give us the same thing. But are we going to listen? Are we going to do what he say do? Are we going to stand on the word of God? Are we going to hear God? Are we going to hear man? Ah, glory be to God. Hallelujah. He said, come back. Repent. Do your first works over. Come back to your first love. You fell in love with Jesus. Glory be to God. Ain't no man, ain't no woman, ain't, ain't worth it going to die and going to hell over. Ah, I don't care how good they are to you, how well they treat you. They ain't worth dying and going to hell over. Because hell is real. Praise God. Holly. There's not enough money in the world, amen, for you to die and go to hell over. But the Bible lets us know the earth is the Lord and the fullness thereof and they that dwell therein. Praise God. Hallelujah. What God, whatever Father has is ours. We got to trust God. But you were, in a, you were doing fine. What happened? He said, come back. What happened? Come back. You left me. Come back. 
<laughs> Come back to me. Do it over. And ask him, do like David. Lord, create in me a clean heart. Renew a right spirit in me, God. Hallelujah. I, I, I came up short, Lord. Help me. And, and, and once you ask God to help you, believe him. Believe. And when he begins to work on you, it might not be the way you think he's going to do it. But God's got a way of getting your attention. God's got a way of bringing you back in. God's got a way of reeling you back in. And it might not be the way you want it. It's not always make you feel good either. Hello. He's not always going to make you feel good. God will chastise those that he loves. Sometimes he allow us, he allow us to go through some things to get our attention. Glory be to God. Sometimes he will allow us to go through some things to get our attention. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise God. What have he got to take you through to get your attention? Glory be to God. He loves us, y'all. He loves us so much. Amen. He would that no soul would be lost. He would that all soul would be saved. But he knows there's going, still going to be some people that has got their mind made up. I'm not going to give in. I'm not going to get saved. I don't want to serve the Lord. You know what they're telling God, amen? We know people, are this is exactly what they're doing. When they're telling God, when they're saying, I don't want to get saved. I ain't want to give my life to the Lord. I'm just going to do like I want to. They're telling God, in so many words, they're telling God, I'd rather go to hell than to serve you. I'd rather burn in the devil's hell than to serve you. And that's sad. Hallelujah. Because hell is real. People don't preach hell, but hell is real. The Bible said, hallelujah, it, it, it's getting seven times harder. Oh, glory be to God. But we got to make up, you got to make up your mind, Lord, I'm, I'm gonna, I want to serve you. I don't want to go to hell. I don't want to get left back here. I don't want to end up in the devil's hell. I want to go back to, with Jesus when he comes. I want him to welcome me in. Hallelujah. It's time to get right. So you won't get left. Ah, oh, it's time to be real or be still. Come back to him. Stop phony. Stop being a phony. Stop playing church. Be real. He said, I know all about you. Be real or be still. If you're going to serve God or you're not going to serve him. If you're going to live holy or you're going to live for the devil. You can't love God and the devil too. Because somebody going to go slack. And nine times out of ten, God goes slack. Because you rather do the things of the enemy, the devil. Amen. Praise God. Make up your mind. Ah, hallelujah. Make up your mind. If you're going to serve God, are you going to serve the devil? Praise God. Hallelujah. Make an intelligent decision this day. Uh, he said, the day that you hear my voice, harden not your heart. Um, uh, he's pleading for the people to come back to him. He's pleading for the sinner man to come to him. He's pleading for the saints, amen, to come back to him and be in him like they used to be. Amen. Get back in him where he want them to be. Seek his face like never before. Cry out to him like he's he pleading for you to come. Hallelujah. And so they come to Jesus just now. He will deliver. He will save you. He will heal you. He will make a way. He will lift the burden. He will dry the tears. He will move the hurt. He will move the grief. He will move the disappointment. But you got to come back to him. He did it before and he'll do it again. He loves you. He's concerned about you. What happened? Come back. You did run well, but who hindered you? What happened? Just come back to him. He, he's standing. He's standing, my God, from his side. He's standing with outstretched arms, waiting for you to come back to him. He is standing, hallelujah, with outstretched arms. He said, and this is what he said. He said, whosoever will. <laughs> God, he said, he said, whosoever will. Let him come. Prostitute, whosoever will. Let, he said, come prostitute. Come drug dealer. Come drug addict. Come alcoholic. Ha, come homeless. Come homosexual. Holly, come let me. I'll deliver you. Whosoever will, let him come. I'll deliver you. I don't like the life that you live out, but I love your soul. He's whosoever will, let him come. Come to me. Hallelujah. Don't wait another minute. Praise God. He, he's tugging at your soul. Oh, backslider. He said, come, I'm married to the backslider. Glory be to God. I'm married to the backslider. He said, come to me. 
just now. Don't wait another day. Don't wait another hour. Don't wait another minute. Give your life to the Lord. Hallelujah. He loves you and he's concerned. You did run well, but who hindered you? That you didn't obey the truth. Uh, there was a time when you obeyed the truth. Nobody couldn't tell you nothing different, but now you fall for eating and everything. Come to Jesus just now. He will save you. He will deliver. He will keep you. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Come just, what happened? Come back. Come back. Come on, come on. He's pleading. Come on, come back. Because one day it's going to be a suddenly. He's going to come quickly. Are you going to be able to be caught up with him? Ah, hallelujah. <clears throat> Are you going to be able to be caught, be caught up with him? He said, come. I love you. I'm concerned about you. Glory to God. Hallelujah. We praise the Lord. Amen. I praise him. I praise him on today. I pray that I said something today to encourage your heart. Amen. What happened? Come back. That's all. Come back. Though your sins, he said, though your sins be as scarlet. Though they be red, red like crap. He said, I'll make it white as snow. I'll clean you. I will. But I can't do it unless you come back to me. Unless you repent, like he told the church of Ephesus, repent. Huh? And I say today, repent for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. It won't be long. We're getting ready to get out of here. He loves you. And he's concerned. Come, people. Preachers, come back. Do your first work over. Let go of that heavy load, that heavy burden. Child of God, let go of that weight. Let it go and let God do what he want to do. Oh, my God, I thank you. Praise God. Come back to him. Hallelujah. Father, we thank you right now for this word. God, I pray that something was said would stir up the hearts of your people. That would stir up their very minds, God. That would tug at their hearts. That they would come back to you in the fullness. And do their first works over. And God, I give you praise. I give you glory. God, I ask you to stir with them, oh God. Rescue them out of the hands of the enemy. And God, I give you praise. I give you glory. Move by your mighty power. In the precious name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. I pray, I pray, I pray, I pray. I pray I said something today to be a blessing to you. They give you something to think about to stir up your very minds. That stir up your heart. Amen. Share this with your family. Really. Share this with your loved ones. Your children, your grandchildren, your great-grandchildren, your enemies, your frenemies, <laughs> your bishops, your apostles. Share, share, share. Huh? What happened? Come back. Come back. You know where you, know where you come up slack at. You know where you don't come up short at. And God knows. Man might not know because you you're faking it. And when you're in the church, you're faking it. Act like you still got the praise. You still got the joy. No, yeah, you done lost your joy. The thrill is gone. You're shaking, but ain't nothing happening. Amen. Because you know you, you come up slack. But God is able to deliver. Praise God. Hallelujah. Y'all continue to pray for me. That I continue to stand and do all that, that God has commanded to do. This is Pastor Barnes representing God's House of Deliverance in Fayetteville, North Carolina. Amen. Under the leadership of Pastor Monterey Williams of Praise Tabernacle in North Carolina. Y'all continue to praise. Pray and get this thing together. Come back. Don't get left behind. Please don't get left behind. Make up your mind. I'm not going to get that. I do not want to get left behind. Praise God. Hallelujah. Continue to cry out to him. I mean, get down to some serious business and cry out to him. Lord, help me. And, and once you ask God to help you, believe it. Okay, yes, Lord, help me. Help me what? What you want him to help you with? What you want him to help you to do? You got to be specific. You go to him and tell him exactly what you need him to help you with. Glory be to God. Be exact. Be exact. Be, amen. Be down there. Be there. Tell him exactly. Be specific. Amen. What you want him to help you with? Help me is not good enough. God, help me to, be, help me to get my life together. Help me, God. Praise God to walk in that way, to live according. Help me, God. I can't do it by myself. We need him. It is important. We need him. Amen. Praise God. Again, I love you dearly. 
Uh, again, I pray I said something to encourage your heart on today. I love you dearly, and there's absolutely nothing you can do about it but love me back. Amen. Praise God. Have a great weekend. I pray that every service, uh, that God move in a mighty way. Allow the Lord. Hear the word. Hear the word of God. Don't look at the vessel, but hear the word. Ah, hallelujah. Hear the true word of God. Praise God. We love you. We appreciate you. And until next week this time, we say be blessed and have a great, safe weekend. This is the Memorial Day weekend. We have a safe weekend. Don't get caught up out there in all this other foolishness, but have a great, safe weekend. If thus saith the Lord.